द ग्रेट चैप्टर महावग द गोइंग फोर्थ और बज सुत आई विल टेल ऑफ द गोइंग फोर्थ हाउ द वन विद विजन वेन फोर्थ हाउ वाइल इन्वेस्टिगेटिंग ही एव फ्रूड ऑफ गोइंग फोर्थ दिस होम इज अ लाइफ कंफाइनमेंट अ बेस इज फोर डस्ट द गोइंग फोर्थ इज लाइक एन ओपन स्पेस Having seen this, he went forth. Having gone forth, he avoided evil deeds with his body. Having abandoned verbal misconduct, he purified his livelihood. The Buddha went to Rajagaha, the city Girivaje of the Magadhans. Adorned with excellent marks, he walked for arms in the city. While standing in his place, Bimbisara caught sight of him. Having seen him endowed with the marks, he uttered this statement, Sirs, look at him. Handsome, stately, pure, endowed with good conduct, he looks a mere yoke's length ahead. With downcast eyes, mindful, It seems he is not from a low family. Let the king's messenger run out. Find out where the big crew will go. The messenger sent by the king followed closely behind him, thinking, Where will this big crew go? Where is his dwelling place? Walking on arms without skipping houses, he sends those guarded, well restrained, clearly comprehending, ever mindful, He quickly filled up his bowl. Having walked on arms round, the Muni departed from the city. He ascended Mount Pandava. His dwelling place must be here. Having seen that he has entered his dwelling, the messengers then approach. But one messenger returned and informed the king. Great king, this Pikku lives on the eastern side of Pandava. He sits in a mountain cavern like a tiger, a bull or a lion. Having heard the messenger's report, the Katiya set out in a fine vehicle. Hurriedly, he departed in the direction of the Panda mountain. Having gone along the grounds for vehicles, the Katiya descended from his vehicle, having a forge on foot. He arrived and entered. Having sat down, the king greeted him and then made polite conversation. When the courtesies were finished, he then uttered this statement. You are young, a lad, a youth in the prime of life, endowed with beauty and stature, like a well-born Khatir. I'll give you wealth, enjoy it. While shining at the head of an army, accompanied by a troop of bull elephants, being asked, tell me your birth. There are eyes, O king, a country straight ahead on the slope of the Himalayas, abounding in wealth and energy, ruled by one native to the Kosalans. I am by clan an Adhikha, by birth I am a Sakyan, I have gone forth from the family, O king nor longing for sensual pleasures. Having seen the danger of sensual pleasures, having seen renunciation as security, I will go for the purpose of striving. It is here that my mind delights.